What's up, everybody? Crypto muscle. Rapid fire laser. Coming to you with another YouTube video. Oh, yes. Another riveting video coming your way. Compelling, riveting, thought provoking. Oh, yeah. Coming to you with another YouTube video. Your anti hero hero. The true villain in the space. But everybody loves a villain. Oh yeah, coming to you another two video. That's why I am your anti-hero hero. All right, so here we go. As I sit here, and you know, the view, the views always there. The subscriber count just keeps climbing. And one thing I don't do <laughs> is I don't have to ask subscribe to my channel. 20 times throughout the video like uh, fruit boy over there and it's amazing right what the power of just being the eighth one of the world can do to you right just being a good youtuber right so you know i'm looking at my content and i look at my comments right so this guy says stop promoting all these sites right i don't promote I'm only sharing what I do and I share what I do because it's an opportunity where I'm making money and it's an opportunity for you to make money. And so it's a power of choice, right? You want to do power of compounding and then lose or right, be like fruit boy. But if you want to make a power of choice, then it's a, it's a matter of yes or no, right? I don't promote. I share what I do, and if you don't like some of the sites I'm in that I share, then the power of choice, which is the noodle that you have in your head, except if you're a fruit boy, then, you know, yeah, shit for brains, bots for brains, shit for brains, <laughs> and, and, and this too, right, grits, grits for brains too, right, uh, then all I gotta say is, um, you know, if you have shit for brains, you can't think, you got to have bots do it for you, then <laughs> I don't know what to say about that. Uh, it's just, I'm just silent. I, I, I can't say nothing more. But if you can think and if you don't like it and you don't want to do it, then you don't do it, right? Power of choice. And if you think you can do it, you like it, you do your research, right? Then there you go. You have an option. The power of choice. So, with all that, I just wanted to throw out there. Let's go into, let's see here. Boom. Cash FX. Oh, yes, it's that time again. Cash FX Saturdays. What are we doing on Cash FX Saturdays? They hear the same stuff I hear all the time. People grumbling, grumbling about, I haven't been paid in three weeks. I haven't been paid in two weeks, three weeks. Yes, the market has been volatile, and for the most part, it's been sideways quite a bit. Yeah, a little bit of ups and downs, uh, you know, between, I don't know, 35 to 37,000. There was like one drop to 31 this week, but back up to 35, 36, 37 again, 38. For, for the most part, it's been going sideways. But yet, you know, it's like, you see the, the, the slow payouts. And I think someone commented about how, I think it might have been in my group, Telegram group, that uh, CashFX is catching up on their payments because it's been super, super slow, even though they have an improved processor, right? And... They're catching up on their payments and that I think they're caught up to the 15th of May or something like that. And they're working on the 22nd of May and so on and so forth. We're working its way closer to the June dates now, right? So how long is that going to take? Who knows? All right. Uh, improved payment processor. I don't know. It's supposed to be faster, but how's it faster if it's slower? Yes, the volatile crypto market. I know people, uh, it's always going to be the excuse, right? It's volatile. I know. Well, shit. It's 
I still think that if you're supposedly accumulating Bitcoin, you're trading with it, you would have an excess amount, you know, supposedly have an excess amount of Bitcoins because you're trading, right? And if you're trading for the positive, you gain more. Well, not necessarily Bitcoin. I guess you could say since you're selling it for fiat to do trading with, right? So you should have an excess amount of fiat. And the excess amount of fiat, yes, I know, you you don't want to buy it high because if you buy it high, the market drops, you're losing money. I get it. But at the same time, you got to give the people the money. I mean, you, you take it, but you got to give. And I don't know. It's just, it, it's the same thing all the time. Um when market volatility comes, I get it. That's fine. I, I totally understand. Uh, the one thing that I want to see, though, is those those bandwagon leaders that are all about hoorah, who yeah, oh man, cash is the greatest thing in the world. Those people, I want them to still follow through and upgrade. Come on, guys, upgrade to 100k. I want. Because I know at least two of you guys, the Griffies, the Maddies, they're at the 70K pack. Come on, pull the trigger, upgrade to 100K. Come on, what are you waiting for? That's what I'm waiting on. And so, uh, other than that, I mean, you got this whole ribbon cutting ceremony coming. I don't know. I, I, it's just, is it really going to happen? That's the thing. Is it really going to happen? Uh, we don't know. All I know is I, I get more attention from the fake Huascar, which I like better. I like the fake Huascar better because at least he's funny and <laughs> and more truthful, right, than uh, the real one. Because we don't know what, I, I don't know. It's just the the whole bending of reality, right, the fake and, and real Huascar. And... What is happening with CFX? What is going on with this whole copy trading thing? It's now June, and we hear zero about copy trading. But we still hear Kinnear say the same thing week after week after week. Kinnear says the same thing. Oh, if you go into this, and then we have all these various packages, and, you know, we could go to the, you know, we, we got the the bear plan here, and there's daily trading force matrix. And then you could do uh, the bull plan here with the fast starts, the unit level progress. And it's like the same thing week after week after week after week for nearly two years now, right? We're closing in on two years. Maybe they just want to hit two years and be like, all right, we're out. Who knows? But the telling things that are coming is where is copy trading? And the second telling thing would be is let's see this building. Uh, there's a lot of speculation about this building, uh, the construction, the delay, all this stuff. I, I really don't care. Um, I, I like going back to where I was at in terms of, let's see here, withdrawals. So the last time I did a withdrawal, I took nearly three weeks. It was 17 days. And oddly enough, uh, I actually got some more money in again, little bits of money, but it's still enough to do something. Look at this, one hundred six seventy eight, and I guess uh, you know as long as there's stuff there, I'll, I'll just continue to just pull it out. So I'll submit for that, and we'll see if this will take three weeks as well. So yeah, twenty percent. I know it goes back into the matrix. I get it. But still, that's a lot. It's still a lot to me. Uh, I don't know why Maddie's okay with that. I'm not okay with that. I got tired of that. And so, all right, request accepted. So I'll be getting $85. For something this small, it shouldn't take three weeks to get paid 85 bucks. But that's probably, I'm assuming, will happen. And so, um, I don't know. It's just, there's no more excitement with cash effects. You know, it's like, I don't know why anybody will want to upgrade. Yes. Oh, yeah. If I didn't formally do it, then I'll formally do it again. Because I think I did last time, last week. I believe it was last week. But I'll, I'll just do it again anyways. So, yes, I bow down to uh, 
to say, yes, the people that were against Cuba life and said that cash effects will last Cuba life, well, I, uh, I, I bow down to that and I say I, I'm humbled to say that I lost that bet. All right. And, you know, Cuba life still paid way more better, but, but I guess that's what happens, right? It burned itself out. It's still there, but Cuba life is only a shell of what it used to be. And, uh, who knows how much further it's going to go, uh, with what they're doing. It's crazy, but that's a whole different video with cash effects. I don't care if it outlasts the Cuba life. I'm I'm still not going to go back into Cash of X. And I don't know why people th keep saying that I'm promoting I'm promoting Cash of X. That's like I I don't even promote Cash of X. I if anything I shared my experience and I shared the journey and I shared if you wanted to come on board at one point. And that was back up until February. And then February, when the opportunity to renew came, I passed. I said, no, I'm not going to renew. I'm out. And I stepped out ever since. So it's been a good four months since I left Cash FX. So when I do these videos, I'm doing it because uh, I'm, I'm kind of feeling some kind of way because of the fact that, one, they keep talking all oh, these last two years. Well, there's probably zero talk about it now. But let's just say for the past year, uh, the first year that is, uh, we're 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 working on it. We're working on meeting regulations and requirements. So we'll get back to you on that. We're working on it. And it's the same thing over and over again, right? And you could go into the Telegram chat, and it's a busy chat, right? Justin would sit there and answer questions left and right, left and right. And the minute that question is asked, hey, what's going on with the regulation stuff? You get nothing. <laughs> it's it's like it almost goes silent, and you know it, it kind of just gets glossed over, passed on, and then they say you know, other stuff comes up, and then the conversation just gets going again. It's like wow, that's kind of weird. But so that's one that bothers me the most is this whole regulation talk. I kept on saying we're working on it, we're working on it, and then never work on it. So that that's that's always been the biggest thing that bothered me. Uh, the second thing. Is about the leaders, right? It's like, you know, you only hear Huascar and Kinnear, right? I mean, where's everybody else? Uh, I don't know. It's like, it's, it's just the, the magic that was once there hasn't been there. And I, that's why I, I could have just upgraded. I could have just said, hey, you know what? I'm going to turn on my VPN, hit the upgrade, and then pay for it. Boom. They get the money. And I get my upgrade, and then boom, turn it back off, and I, I continue on. Right? Could have done that, but the the person inside me told me, "No, nah, don't do it," because I I wouldn't have probably got caught. I, I mean, that's the whole thing. I wouldn't have got caught because they would have welcomed the fact that I would have kept on, you know, talking about cash effects and oh man, cash effects is the greatest thing and all this other stuff. Right? No, I wouldn't have done that, but they would have. My, they would have not minded paying the upgrade. So I, I don't see what the problem would have been. But it's just, I, I don't feel that excitement anymore. That's why I didn't do the upgrade. Because if I really, really wanted to do that bad, I would have just done it. All right? And so people say, oh, well, you could have been making money all this time. Well, shit. Um, yeah. But at the same time, I would have to wait once every three weeks to get paid. And so that's something I didn't want to do as well. But I couldn't have predicted the future. It's just... Um, I, I just, there's plenty of other opportunities that I've taken on that I, I feel better about than paying an upgrade to cash effects. Like $10,000, I was comfortable throwing that into crypto future right now. So, you know, I'm more comfortable with that. I, I'd rather throw another 10 more thousand into crypto future right now than go back into cash effects. You know, and it, as being new as crypto future is, I would rather just do that. So put another 10,000 in that if I had a choice again to do it right now. So that's where we're at. Uh, cash effects, delays, delays, again, delays again. People are saying they're fizzling out. I don't know. Uh, they booted me out of the Telegram group a long time ago. I, was, I would share with you guys all that stuff. But that's just the way it is. So another cash effects Saturday. 
And uh, other than that, I'll see you in the next one.